One of the interesting things about the Western culture is no nonsense, no bull crap, just straight to the point. And so I'm just going to get straight to the points today in less than three minutes. There are some promises Jesus made that are not so um, happy. They're not fuzzy. They're not um, snuggly. And I'm going to share two of the bad promises Jesus made. And then I'll, I'll recap real quick. The first promise Jesus made is that in this life, we're going to have trouble. So in John 16, uh, he told his boys, he said, look, in this life, you will have trouble. And I don't think there's any listener that pays attention to these podcasts and these uh, these uh, series, the bottom line series, that wouldn't agree that you probably had trouble today at some point. Sometimes it's family, sometimes it's relationships, some, and a lot of times it's uh, uh, physical, you know, being sick, and then Finally, it's sometimes uh, financial. Jesus promised that in this world you're going to have trouble. But the good news is, here's the Paul Harvey part. He did say right after that, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. And so he makes a promise that we're going to have trouble, turns right around and says he's got it. The second bad promise Jesus made deals with eternity. And this is over in John chapter uh, 3. He was talking to a very religious man that didn't have a clue about how to get to heaven. Um, And he said, look, you understand that whoever does not believe, this is in John chapter 3, is talking to uh, a guy, like I say, he he was a very powerful preacher in in Israel in that day. And he said, uh, look, you realize that whoever chooses not to believe in Christ, not to believe in that physical bodily resurrection, whoever refuses to not not acknowledge their sinfulness, they are, you ready for this word? This is tough. Condemned already. In other words, Jesus promised if you don't want to, uh, if, if you don't make a uh, an intentional choice to follow Jesus Christ, it can be on the coattails of your religion, coattails on your grandmother. You've got to make an intentional choice to follow Jesus. If not, uh, you're condemned. That means no heaven. But right prior to that, in John three sixteen, he simply said that God so loved the world. That's us. That he gave his one and only Son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish. There it is comes back with a good promise. So the bottom line today is Jesus had some pretty negative promises. He guaranteed, number one, in life we will have trouble. And number two, if we choose not to follow him, we're not going to get to heaven. We stand in opposition to the Lord. That's the bottom line. If you've not yet followed Jesus today, I pray that you'll invite him into your life right where you're at right now. Or call or text us. We'd love to show you the way. God bless.